This is uh, another episode of Freedom Planet. And I um, started back at the menu just for one thing, uh, and that is uh, the DreamWorks face that Carol is giving us on our file. Why is she doing that? Um, as I said in the last video, um, all the... You know what, fuck it, I'll explain it later. I want to hear Serpentine. Okay, let's hear Serpentine. He's my favorite character. Don't play games with me, duckling! Tell me! That's a duckling? Oh, yeah, you're right. He's a, he's a duck turtle man. Oh, a duck turtle. So there's the snake mount. We killed the shit out of it last video. Mm. And he's just like, okay, whatever. Well, yeah, I mean, he's a turtle. Half turtle. What is this hideous creature? So I pause for that because uh, Serpentine has the same opinion I have about most of the characters in this game. She's not that bad. The None of them are terrible, but I just love his reaction there. What the? <laughs> I feel like I'm watching an old episode of Dragon Ball Z. Kind of what it feels like. <laughs> More or less autistic. Yeah. Whoever does Serpentine's oh, voice was pretty one. good. Yeah, he actually Thank does you, Miss, um, a lot of people's voices in this game, and I don't Hi. remember who. I just Miss he does Lilac. like three people's voices. I like it. Are you okay? I saw a huge oh, that's explosion Carol. back there. You've been following me this whole time, haven't you? Duh. I take it you know this guy. So yeah. a lot of people I hear uh, complain yeah. about She's Torque like having tail. a kind of unfitting right voice. He does kind of have an unfitting yeah, voice. It seems kind of weird. It doesn't seem as weird later. Well, I'm but you'll I'm see, you'll see why it doesn't oh. seem as weird. Does he just kind of like bloom into his character, or does it make sense, actually? It fits a little, you'll see, it fits a little better. Still not perfect, but... It's also more like his voice acting isn't that good. Mm -hmm. Same with Lilac. I don't really like Lilac's voice that much, whereas I do like Carol's voice actor quite a lot. I think now, you see, I actually have the opposite opinion. I like Lilac's better than Carol's so far, from what I've heard. Well, it's already happening. Sounds like what I would sound like if I was voice acting. Carol and I are pretty fast. We could run over there for you. Seriously? Yup, I've got a motorcycle, and she's a dragon. They're like... See, once again, fast. she is a dragon. <laughs> Turn straight. Doesn't look anything like a dragon. Yeah. It's worth a shot. I guess Hurry in this, like... Too late. What about I'm pretty you? sure what they're going with I'll is, you know how, like... As soon as I find all my the stuff. Chinese, quote-unquote, dragons... Man. Like, what, what we call dragons, basically, that aren't really dragons, I guess. You know how they have, like, the whiskers... Yeah. Oh, whiskers. It's supposed to be reminiscent of that, where she has the long strands of hair. Oh, I see I it get, now. I get it. I get what they're going for with that. I, it, she doesn't look anything like a dragon still, but I get what they're going for. I do see it now. Who's this badass panda? Uh, General Gong is his name. Oh, that's awesome. There's nothing to worry about. I think he might be one of the people. I think it's the guy who voices Serpentine also voices him, but I could be wrong. Which is why his voice acting is good, is because whoever does that voice is great. So what is she again? Carol, ninja cat or something? She is a she's a wild cat, I guess. Um. Oh shit. So yeah, that happens. Those are troops from. I think Shang Mu is the city. We learned that it? later. Oh, okay. The city where the city we're like on the outskirts of right now is Shang Tu, and then their neighbor city is Shang Mu. So I see. This level, I love the music in this level. It is nice. I like it. Also, every level has two has at least two tracks. Every oh, level. hey, cool. So you don't have to listen to the same fucking thing going yeah, on. Yeah, when you level. get to, like, there's, like, two parts to every level. Once you get to the second part, there's, like, a different version of the same song. That's really cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I love that. Overall, like, the reason I had such an issue with, like, making the sound sound right in the first video is because I really, really like how this game sounds in general. All That's the really sound good. effects are very good, all the music is very good, they did a great job with that. Especially yeah. for, like, having 25 grand to develop this game with. Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. And they actually had... Oh, actually, no, yeah, I did know that. You told yeah, me. Yeah, their, their Kickstarter that. goal was, like, 2,000 bucks. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, their Kickstarter goal was 2,000 bucks, and they got 25 grand. So... 
I guess they used it well. Um, well, yeah, a lot better than a lot of the other Kickstarter things that I've seen. So these things that Carol jumps on, I didn't get to mention this in the last video. I was going to, but I forgot to. Um, those red things that let her sort of bounce from thing to thing, kind of like in Sonic, they have a few things like that. Um, well, jump past, those yeah. only work for Carol. If you are Lilac oh. and you jump on them, they give you crystals and they just deactivate. Oh, weird. So we have the clock here. I want to show the clock because there's a clock there. It's pretty cool. I like the clock. Yeah, I love the clock. So, so does um, does Lilac have her own little jump pads, or is it because her character moves uh, differently? She doesn't. She can need take. Them. She can take. She doesn't need them because she can kind of fly. But okay. she also has different paths because she can more easily break through certain walls. So this guy here, um, I love this enemy. So he jumps around. You can actually jump on him as a platform. That's normally if you're Lilac. That's usually how you get up here. Yeah. Um, you can kill him the normal way, or you can crush him with that brick. <laughs> you know what? I would think that that's actually the normal way to do it. See, that's, the normal that, way? that's what I thought you... Like, there's an achievement for doing that, but that was the first thing I thought of, was like, oh, I wonder if I can crush him with this, and you totally can, and it's incredibly easy. So what's the normal way? You just whack at his yeah, face? Yeah, you just you punch his face a bunch of times. Like, that's how oh. you can do it, but I... I wouldn't be surprised if most people just crushed him with the brick, because, like, that, that seems really obvious, doesn't it? Well, yeah, especially because the thing on the brick was, like, purple and so was his eye, kinda. Well, you so see, you see kinda... one of those before, it's just like, you know, there's no reason you would have that brick there other than that. So... Yeah. Because you don't need it to get up there. No, you don't, you don't need it to, like, you don't need to push it on a button or anything, you just, it's there. Yeah. Okay. So, wait, the... the leaves are your health bar? Yeah, the red leaves up in the top left. So what is the blue thing? The blue thing is your power bar. So that's like your special attacks. Like, um, Carol has this constant claw attack that gives her invincibility frames. That's what she uses it for. Or if she's on her motorcycle, that attack and speeding up her motorcycle, you use that. Um, and then for Lilac, her dragon boost requires her to have the full bar. So that you get here, and, um, you know, what... Uh, Mershaw's oh, men are trying to take this thing called the Kingdom Stone. That is not the Kingdom Stone. I find, you, you know, you find out later that's not the Kingdom Stone. And they have a bunch of those, so, like, I guess uh. they're decoy Kingdom Stones? I'm not really <laughs> sure. You never, I don't think they ever tell you exactly what the fuck they are. So here's the mid-boss for the level. It is a big claw oh, thing on the shit. back of the truck. He shoots you know what? Every time I use a claw, I always miss the fucking toy in the thing, so I... I mean, this, this, this claw is not very accurate either. He's a pretty easy boss. Is it? Yeah, he's very... He's, I mean, he's not even really a boss. He's a mid-boss. What the hell... What's the little purple thing that comes when you bounce on the thing in the other? Which purple? Is that just... The little purple uh, things that are right next to him? Like, was that hurting him when you bounced on them, or was it just... Oh, no, I was just bouncing on it to get up to him to hit him. So then you just... Oh, okay. there And you crush the engine. And they have a bunch of those crystals, see, so I don't know what the fuck they are, but... So, if yeah. Lilac, since uh, going along with Lilac being a big cheater, you can actually skip this mid-boss. <laughs> you go right Holy past shit. it, and you can, you can just punch the engine and destroy it. You see, I like her a lot more. Just, uh, from what I've seen, I kinda I enjoy the way she works. They're both pretty fun, like... I find them both really fun to play. I'm really not sure which one is, like, in general faster, and it might depend on the level. I would, by this point, honestly guess it's probably Lilac, just because of the boost. I thought it was, um, that other guy, the... what was his name? Uh, the snake guy that you play, right? You can't play as him. I feel like you told me there was a guy that was green that you could There's, there's a different, but you'll see him later. So here I oh, wanted play? to show, here I wanted to show off. You see what happened there? Yeah. The enemy uh, picked up the crystals, and when I killed them, they got, I got them back. Cool. All enemies in the game do that. If they walk into crystals, they pick them up, and when you kill them, you can take them back. Um, here I was just trying to get this crystal, and I thought I could jump up here for a second, and realized I couldn't. <laughs> I, I don't know why I thought I could. I was like, oh, maybe I can get up here easier, and I there was no reason to do that at all. Well, at least you know that. Uh, I mean, I probably should have known that uh, by doing a bunch of runs, but 
this was the best run for this. Like, this isn't a, it? this isn't a good run. Like, this is this itself is a pretty bad run, but it's slow enough that we can comment on it. Because if I did, oh, yeah, if I did an awesome. actual speed run, it would be too fast, and I wouldn't be able to show off a lot of the cooler shit. Yeah, there will be time and place for the speed run part of it. I might upload some later, but there will be plenty of those you can find by other people, so I might not. Mm. Like, otherwise, like I wouldn't be able to bring anything. So, yeah. So these digger guys, I have, yeah. I have always wondered if like, doesn't it look like you can get into the orange suit? Like, does kinda, it, yeah. You can't. And then here, if you roll into a ball as Carol, you can break certain barriers. That doesn't come up that much, but it is nice. Oh. So these are these cool. things oh. digging down, I guess, looking for the kingdom stone. I guess. So, and then this, this, I, look, I wanted to, like, this part, I wanted to make sure to get the video. So you see what's happening here? This little robot thing here keeps hitting the shield. And it's to show you that certain shields in the game will reflect certain attacks and make you completely immune to them as long as you have the shield on. Oh, that's Not cool. all attacks. Each each shield has a special effect. And each shield has a special ability and a, and a type of damage it completely negates without damaging the shield. All of huh. Which is really cool. Like, so how long does it last? Um, until it breaks. Until something breaks it. And these guys can't. And we crushed him with the environment. I love doing it. <laughs> this game lets you do that with every enemy. Which is amazing. That's really cool. Um, and with this one, I think this shield, if I just saw that, attracts crystals. Yeah, yeah, it attracts crystals. This one attracts crystals. There's, oh, some, wow. there's one, there's a round one with little leaves on it that attracts health pieces. Which is really nice. Um, That's cool. And there's our friend, the uh, the spinny guy. So we could go up this patch path up here that we cleared. Yeah. We're going up here because I like this area a little better. Just a little obstacle here. I like these little pickaxe things. Yeah, they're cool. A little eight of finish, but I mean, it's so I mean, cool. yeah, why the hell not? You know. <laughs> wow, hold that was kind of I like that. So are these supposed to be, like, ancient ruins that just happen to be filled with many, many crystals? Well, yeah, they're just, um, it's where the Kingdom Stone is located, like, you're going to it, and the Kingdom Stone is the power source for the entire area, basically. Actually, the entire planet, if I'm not mistaken, uh, basically gets all of its energy from the Kingdom Stone. And, then why would they want to screw with it? <laughs> um, because if you have it, it'll give you more energy, and Mer Zhao wants it because, uh, he wants to get re-elected, so he's trying to solve the energy crisis. By bringing it. Oh. Uh, okay. They're having. So, this next room, uh, I like this next room a lot. It has a little. I wouldn't even call it a boss. It's kind of like a, like a strong enemy. So this guy runs around. This little bone. Oh, look at him. So he causes, he causes a shockwave on the ground. Yeah. Um, so you can you can hit that red crystal, or you can make him hit himself. Oh, that's cool. I like that. There's an achievement for this, actually, and if you are playing as Lilac, um, she has special voice responses for it. She'll say, <laughs> she'll, yeah, she'll say stuff like, uh, like, can't catch me or something like that in, in whatever her voice sounds like. I'm not even going to try to imitate that. That will sound more autistic than this story. Thank you for that. So, we would normally go through there if we were Lilac, because we can break, break through a door. Uh, we go up uh. as Carol which is about as fast, I think. Hey, she just happens to be here already. Okay. You're technically together? What do you think uh, you're doing? Let's so here's Shadow the Hedgehog. So? I see what you're talking yeah. about now. He, like a couple traitors listen to his friggin' voice. Care. The way he talks and everything. Like, he looks like Shadow the Hedgehog bleached himself, too. And you've left he me does. no choice. Uh, you're right. He even does, like, the arm thing. Yeah. yeah. Still training, I see. I actually do not dislike his voice actor, though. His voice actor does a pretty okay dance, job. But Mayor he does. He's not like schedule. a totally emotionless character. Like, he's got the sass in there, which makes it good. I'd hate to be around when it wakes up. You're insane, you know that? You're never gonna huh. get away with it. <laughs> We'll Aren't they worried that. that they'll screw, like, up the way that you can live on the planet if you have the Kingdom Stone? Um, he doesn't really care. But we should. He'll have nothing to president over. So, we get to this end boss of this level now. Oh, this is the... Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, holy shit. Oh, so, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I love the roar. <laughs> so, for is this that, boss... Like, a 
T-Rex. Yeah, something like that. So for this boss, you have to cut off his arms as he fights, and then he'll try to bite you, and you punch him in the face, and then he gets yeah, his claws back. That's mo that's pretty much this whole fight. Um, he has a lot of he has a lot of different attacks with his claws. Also, those rocks he brings up when he claws into the ground can hurt you. Yeah. Oh yeah, this uh. So here, um, this is the thing, the bosses and other enemies actually can break the boxes that hold uh, health pickups and crystals. Hmm. Their, their attacks can break. Wait, what boxes? Like the, the blue flower things with the crystals in them and the, the health oh, boxes. That's what that is. They can break okay. them. And, see, there's another one he broke. Yeah. They don't just break them. Um, if they touch the crystals, they do pick up the crystals. Like uh, and then when you kill him, yeah, it fell out of the claw. That's really cool. And that's the thing I love about this fight is the individual claws pick up the crystals. So like when that you break cool. the claw itself, it drops them. Whereas the boss, if he picks them up by trying to fight you, he'll drop them when you destroy his head, which we'll see in a second. Yeah. So the crystals, do you need that for anything specific? Um. The crystals, when you get 200 of them, uh, they give you a life. But the most yeah. use for them, especially in a fight like this, is if you're really crafty with them. Um, when you pick them up, they get, they refill your power bar a little bit. So they let, oh, okay. they let you attack a lot more if you use them. Well. Yeah. However, I am not great at using them in this run. I'm mostly just trying to show off if the boss can pick them up. So that's what happens whenever you beat a boss, it goes into slow motion. And then the boss kind of explodes. I regret nothing. <laughs> Feel my power! Huh. So what's that thing on the right that says 23? Oh, those things, you collect them throughout the levels. And I, didn't I actually could have done it in this level, but I decided not to. I wanted to show it off later just because this video would be long enough anyway. Yeah. Uh, if you get those, you can use them to gamble for items after after levels if you collect this. You'll find this little yin-yang symbol. Yeah. And it brings you to a room where you knock around a box that has a flashing icon of all the shields and, and a life. And you have to hit it around until you get the item you want. Oh, okay. You have to have a certain amount of those little orb things you can collect uh, to gamble. Hmm. They're usually hidden very well. The uh, the yin yang things. The only time I'm the only time here. it's not hidden at all, I think, is when um, you made it out. it's a very late You're level. Here. It's kind of just in your path, pretty path. much I'm just fine. so that if you haven't well, gotten it before, you get it then and realize it exists. Uh, and then the next time you play it, you're well, like, that's actually a thing. Uh -huh. get more money? We'll think of something. So what well, just I really happened? I thought she died. It looked like that, but then up in the corner, you saw um. There was somebody who popped up in the corner, and they presumably saved her. Oh, okay. And we'll meet her later? We will meet her in just a moment, actually. Oh, okay. What? Someone's following us. What do you mean? So are they, like, adopted sisters or something? Is that they, why they were together? They were in a team together. Oh, okay. They're just they're they're in a team called the Red Scarves. They're actually in the team with that Spade guy. Yeah. Um and Spade does not like them anymore, as you could probably tell. So yeah. this is uh this right here is our third uh playable character. And I just want you to pause first. Not don't pause the video, but there you wait. Yeah. <laughs> Can I touch your hair? Super duper autistic. Okay, lady, I saved your friend. Now I get to touch your hair. <laughs> can, can I smell it? Can, That's how this works. It my... <laughs> so, so no, she really lets her. And this, this Does might, she this, really? Yeah, no, watch. Now, I would... I would like to now direct you to Carol's face. <laughs> I like Carol a lot because she, sure. she often has the same reaction that I do to a lot of these things. That's really funny. <laughs> Next time I help someone, after they're done, I'm going to be like, So Mila, I'm not going to show her gameplay yet. 
Okay. I'll show it much later because she actually has a few levels that the other characters do not get to play. Um, she has. They're actually in the files. I went and looked, and they are just labeled as level zero. Um, I think they're called. I can't she remember. must be the person I was thinking of before. Yeah. I can't remember what her levels are called, but they're basically in a sewer. Oh. So yeah. here. Your Excellency. Here is the magister. By who? Uh. His pilgrimage to the temple was a cover. She does that opening monologue. Yeah. Um, this is uh, Edwin Tiong also voicing this guy. Buffoon, but I Good. never believed he was capable of this. A pair of youngsters warned us about the attack. I refused to listen. Sapuku. I have failed you, Magister. Don't be hard on yourself, General. I would have been just as skeptical. And tell me. So what is he supposed to be? This He's the he is the leader of Shang Tu, I think. We don't know what kind of animal he's supposed to be, though. Yeah, it never shows it. Damn. You never smell right. I'm referring to those kids. Oh, step. Know something about this. We have to find. We need them. some ice for that burn. So there's a duck. <laughs> he just he's just like wait. Yep, he does that in every sure in almost every single uh, scene he is in. Thanks, oh, that's the guy you were talking yep. about. Yep. Yeah, I mentioned him. Gadgets. He, he does that Just every single time, anything. I think. All right. Oh, that's wonderful. What are you gonna be up to? Oh, we should have oh, plenty of things again. to do, especially with a new girl around. <laughs> Why is she? <laughs> so, about a movie? like, Lilac has an animation for laying down. Carol has one, but they didn't make one for Mila for some reason. They just have her ducking animation. So she just kind of shakes her butt around in the air while she does yeah. it. I guess she's supposed so, to be a dog, right? Yeah. So. so I paused it here because um, there is actually uh, a, the TV actually has its own audio for this whole part. <laughs> Does it really? Like, if you just listen to it. <laughs> I want to know what they're watching. Yeah, me too. Holy shit, what are they watching? <laughs> it's like this, it just ends with that, like, that guitar riff. How come George doesn't want to hang out with us? He said he had some work to do. I mean, if you can't tell, Carol has a uh, has a thing of popcorn. Is that what the fuck? Is yeah, it? she has a thing of popcorn next to her. I thought it was like a pillow. It's so ninja um, her. Yep, ninja her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they sleep in bunk beds. That's cute. I like to think that their secret hideout place, everybody actually knows where it is. Mm-hmm. They're just like, oh, hey. It's our secret hideout. Everyone really knows. It's kind of big for a secret hideout. Yeah, it is pretty large, so. Like, what, we've already seen that they have a living room and they have a whole bedroom that can fit quite a bit. Yeah, I think, like, they made a lot of money from, like, martial arts tournaments or something. So, yeah, um, here we find out Torque is an alien. It's not what it looks like. What are you? Give us answers, buddy. That's exactly what it looks. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. But you have to promise to keep it to yourself. See, he's a very long-necked alien. He looks kind of goofy. Right, it does look goofy. Uh, right, pinky swear. <sighs> All right, take a seat. So now he's kind of sounds more normal. Actually, I'm yeah, he sounds a little better, and he fits the he fits Asia. his appearance a little more. So I guess this is what you're talking alien. about. Yeah. Much. So what? Yeah. Like, he was just wearing a duck bill. Um, he had like a a duck bill and like a shell and stuff to make himself look Actually, like a weird animal person. Really? How did they not they notice that, that it was just a fake ago, ass duck bill? Came to and mixed with I mean, ancestors. look at everyone else. Like I, I don't think like. Touche. So I, I, I don't. I don't think they would have a problem with it. Honestly, he could just walk so. around like hey, this and just say he's some weird so like. Hard mark with a skin condition. <laughs> he probably could. I don't know why he didn't think of this. It. It's like so. It's yeah, tail it constantly wagging. Not all the time, but here it's wagging a lot. All right. He's dangerous with a capital D. Dangerous with a capital D. With a capital D. I like that. Revan is the most powerful. The most powerful, powerful unibrow in the galaxy. Look at that fucking unibrow. Oh my god. Enormous amounts of weapon energy stolen. <laughs> I skipped the text, the and so I thought he was just gonna say enormous amounts of iceberg. Uh, According to our scans, Whoa, what the? Is that enough his? Enough wait, oh, never mind. I thought that was his body for a second. So this is uh, yes. actually a level, I think. If I'm, oh. I think it's the 
second. It might be the second I'm last level. Your leaders of his existence, huh. I think. I can't get or it's just a bunch of platforms and I'm bullshitting. I don't remember, but it looks Kingdom like the second to last level. Then I'll have no choice. In this, I, it's either the second or third to last level. There's like a clusterfuck of enemies in this one part. He summons really, really fast that you basically just have to run from. Huh. You don't have to, but it's a good idea. You don't need to fight them, and there's no reason you'd want to. So. You won't yeah, even think that's why it reminds me of that. It might just be a bunch back. of platforms, though. I don't care how dangerous it is. It's gonna take so a yeah, he doesn't care. Yeah. The friendship tune plays now. Down. Oh, does it? That's what I call it. I don't remember. I, I think it plays at a lot of points, but it's usually like the. Actually, I think in the files it's called like rescue or something. Because it plays when um when Torque first crashes. I think that's when it plays. She's a bit too excited. Noah doesn't have anything better to do. She's literally a sewer rat. A sewer dog. I guess so. She, the, game, rat dog. the game starts if you play as her. Her her levels start in a bunch of sewers where she has to stuff jelly down a fish's throat to kill it. That sounds kind of weird, but that's, that's a boss. know this world better than I do. Does she eat it afterwards? Uh, well, it's not like what is it? It's like basically Mila's special abilities are like she can make a shield and she can also generate these green blocks above her head that she can throw. Uh, she goes to pick items up and stuff like that. But you have to like pick yeah. up the green blocks and the throw them into this fish's crazy. mouth. Understood. Okay. That's the that's like the first boss fight. With well, the I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep an open mind. Eventually we'll get to it, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah we I'll probably throw it in last. We've got a big day okay. I'm okay with that. If I can be perfectly honest with you. Mm. So he's back at Shuigong Palace. Lord Brevin is doing evil things, looking at evening, evil sir. snow globes. It may interest you to know that the location of the artifact has shifted. Where? It's Look at that damn unipro. Populated region to the east. He grooms it, man. This could work to that is his pride and joy. Look at how he displays it. <laughs> I like how his, uh, he has massive shoulders. Die? Well, he's wearing, like, a cloak it thing, so... Duty to he has, like, a cloak, but then he has, like, shoulder pads that go you five feet out. Your very life for the good of this or maybe that's just what it looked like in the scene. So, so if you need a recap, yes. um, Prince Dale was the, pri the prince of Shuigong. His father died because Lord Brevin killed the we shit out of him. And then Lord Brevin yes. brainwashed exactly. Dale to serve him. The one you call uh, so that's what's happening right now. Uh, so, Lord Brevin is controlling Shuigong, um, or, yeah, he's, he's controlling it. Um, nobody knows that except for Torque and the gang. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I see. So all the enemies that are all over the place are actually sent from Shuigong. That's kind of sad. They died for nothing. To steal our kingdom stone must be stopped. Deploy our scout <laughs> So, yeah, they're noise. Uh, well, like, they're all cheering, and then there's not, like, none of them are, like, moving up and down cheering. They're all just, like, it, shifting. They just kind of, yeah, they side. just kind of dance. They're jiggling. They're, side. Jiggling. <laughs> they're commencing the jiggling. Yeah, oh, shit. <laughs> God, she has too much energy. I was wondering when you'd be awake. You can blame Carol for that. She sleeps for like half Haha, <laughs> cat jokes. <sighs> totally worth it. I get it. Well, I get anyway, it. I get it. I gotta call get him it. that big yeah, panda yeah. guy Cats, I told you about. I He's get gonna it. help us. When is he coming? Actually, we have to go meet him. He'll be waiting for us north of here. Perfect. I fixed my radar last night so we can uh. use it to find the meeting point. Great. Why do you need a radar Ready, to find the meeting point? Aye, aye, Captain. Um, Didn't they just tell him? Like, yeah, it's, it's, most, it's mostly just to establish that, uh, to the that radar, Torque builds things, I guess. The right location. I guess so. Uh, I think it's a little <laughs> That's the radar? This way. It looks kind of like an N64 controller with a big red button on the back. I hope it's that. That is literally She's what it is. Nose, yeah, I would have liked that. Awesome. I liked a lot. Allow me to properly introduce myself. It's I am away. General Gong of Shang Tu. It's an honor, General. That's how they bow? Yeah, they didn't make like a bow animation, so they just made him kind of like go down on one knee. Which is good enough, I think. Well, hers was like like a ninja crouch. It was weird. our help? Don't you have soldiers and spies and stuff? We want to try and resolve this thing peacefully if we can. 
So we're sending a neutral party to negotiate. Spoilers, there is no negotiation that goes on. We kill the shit out of everything we see. Oh, really? Well, that's the negotiation, didn't you know? I'm, I guess that's negotiation in Avalis. Which is the planet that this is on, by the way? Give it a shot. That's how Avalis do. I assume we'll yeah. be taking one of these planes. Uh -huh. you he looks do very know nervous. Fly. He doesn't oh, know how to fly. Yes, I do. <laughs> I mean, he can fly a spaceship, so he can probably figure out a plane. Wall. Yes, sir. Okay. Wah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I'm glad. I'll be okay. Nobody cares if you're okay, Milan. You're the, you are the third wheel. Mm-hmm. I actually like Milan. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 